Let's talk about uh, special reflex, uh, one of the brainstem reflexes, which is positive and negative supporting reactions. Positive supporting reactions to test this reflex. Uh, position the infant in standing position with his sole of the foot, bare feet, uh, supported on the ground, <laughs> and grip him under the axilla. The stimulus is just uh, bouncing the infant several times over the ground and stop. Uh, the response will be increase the extensor tone in his lower limbs. He will extend his, his, his lower limbs, extend his knees and hips. And also, you may found a uh, blunt reflection. Okay? Uh, this reflex starts from three months and integrated or controlled uh, at about eight months. When controlled uh, in, at this period, uh, just positioning the infant in a standing position like so, the response will be extension of both limbs. Okay? After eight months, this, uh, this re uh, reaction be uh, controlled or um, just uh, putting the infant in standing position like so, um, his, his limbs will not be extended reflexively. He will be able to flex his limb uh, reciprocally and to walk. Okay, so this uh, reaction converted from being a positive to negative reaction. The importance of positive supporting reaction as it is a prerequisite or a precursor or uh, as a preparation for standing position as it uh, stimulates or uh, activates the anti-gravity muscles extensor of uh, knees and hips and this is uh, for preparation for standing but its persistence may interfere with walking okay as in walking um, the subject have to extend one limb and deflex the other if he if the the uh, the positive supporting reaction is still persistent uh, this will hinder the subject from uh, flex and extend his lower limbs uh, uh, reciprocally okay in clinical field the infant that uh, doesn't uh, develop positive supporting reaction may impose delay in standing uh, function okay and also if this uh, response is still persistence that may interfere with uh, walking